Netflix, you still watching me? When you're leaving your grandma's place and she realizes you didn't bring a jacket. My mom. Me having a really bad day. My mom preparing some delicious food and told me to not care about it. That one compliment I got years ago. My depression. Me asking a girl out thinking that she will probably say no. What took you so long? I thought you'll never ask. Me. Giving up on life. My nephew telling me I'm his favorite person ever. Cringing at teachers for dressing up special occasions. Respecting them because they are making an effort to make students happier to study and just want you to smile. My wife enjoying her hobbies. Me supporting her doing what she loves. Me participating in my foreign friend's culture so that can feel at home while being in another country. Me. Trying to share my father-in-law's interests because he's a good guy. How you look at her when you all first meet versus how you look at her after 2 years because you love her and she makes you happy. When you get out of a bad job and land in something you really enjoy. My little brother worried about going to big school that I'm in. Me. If by my life or death I can protect you I will. My stick figure drawing of our family. Mom. When you meet your 5th grade teacher and she still remembers you. After all this time. Always. When my friends thank me for supporting them through their tough times. Wanna see me do it again. When you subscribe to a small YouTuber who makes good videos. We will watch your career with great interest. Nobody is born cool. Except of course. People who don't bully other people for not knowing stuff and actually help them. My sibling learning how to cook. Me cheering him up and giving him ingredients. Me raving about what I'm learning. My dad a literal scientist. Seven year old me picking up a piece of trash I found on the ground. I'm doing my part. Are you gonna sleep now? Yes. Keep quiet please. How polite. I promise to prepare a nice dream for you. Thanks. Brain. Me. Every morning. Listen. You can do it. My extroverted brother trying to find me some friends. Introverted me silently appreciating his effort. When you invite a new friend to your home and want to make him as comfortable as possible by imitating his customs. When you catch up with a friend you haven't seen in a while, but you get along just like the good old days. When your friend is helping you to text your crush and it works. Mom. Me who is sick. Seeing myself now, and liking who I am. How you perceived myself in the past, when I had very low self esteem. Men who are only kind to people, to get them to like them. Men who are kind to everyone, because it's the right thing to do. Me feeling depressed for not having friends or girlfriend slash boyfriend. My dream to make the world a better place. For everyone asking how the roads are, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. My wife helping me with my CV and job application. When you listen to a song you haven't heard in a long time and still remember all the lyrics. I'm still worthy. My dad telling me I did a good job helping him change the tire on his car. Me who didn't really do anything other than holding the tires and handing him the tug wrench. Me asking questions about the sushi menu in Broken. Japanese. The sushi chef happily explaining the menu in a way I can understand. When you get into a deep conversation with someone who understands you. Me. Downs of 2021. My hopes for 2022. Me who just got my driver's license. My little brother excited that we are going to get some ice cream. Me with my friends. Me with my family. Me with my partner. My mum. Cooking dinner. Me. Right before burnout from studying for exams. When your non-binary friend offers to pay for dinner and the waiter hands you the bill, they'll pay for this. When life has been really bad, but your favorite band released a new single and announced an album today. When you pick your best friend first for your team in gym class. Him on the outside. Him on the inside. College student me thinking what am I supposed to do with my life 
and what's the point to live being a failure. Five years later me graduating from college and having a happy and prosperous life all due to parents support. Rage quitters. Nobody is born cool. Except of course. The chat guy saying. GG. Even though he died to a try hard four times. Me. My mum and her comfort food. Me coming home feeling terrible with a bad grade. 20 year old me failing college. I'm not as strong as you. 13 year old me being top student in mid school. No. You're stronger. When you're new to the friend group and one person explains all the inside jokes to you. Whispering. Thank you. My 11 year old brother. You are stupid. Me. No you are stupid. Me and him 10 minutes later. When your little brother that's always alone is finally making friends. Me having an awful day. My sister telling me. Go little rock star. When you notice you are very good at loving people. But terrible at choosing who to love. Then realize you already have what is hardest to achieve. And just must change a few behavioral patterns. Me. Starts play wrestling with my dad. My brother ready to come to my aid in battle. My father. Every year. Don't buy me a present for my birthday. Me. Fine. I won't. 8 year old me. A random trial of ants. Me. Crumbs from my dessert. When you've been dead inside 4 years. But some own compliments you. What gives people feelings of power? Money. Status. Uplifting someone's mood by being the listener. Work making me cry in the car on the way home. My kid running to me with excitement saying they missed me. Young me rambling about things I enjoy. My mom internally. My mom externally. His girlfriend. My friend. Happily dating. Me who introduced them to each other. Me. Admitting my faults. And wanting to be a better person. My friends. Getting a heartfelt gift from a friend. Giving a heartfelt gift to a friend. When someone teases you with your crush. How you react. Deep inside. When you return to an old hobby and you're still good at it. I'm still worthy. 60 hour weeks. My dad. My future. Knowing a song off by heart. Your best friend and you singing the song together cause you both love it. When you finally make friends with someone you can relate to. The guy who lent me a pen in the exam hall. Me. Me cheering myself on because I managed to get out of bed. Me rereading old chats and remembering how fun it was texting with some people. When my teenage son asks me for a hug for the first time in 5 years. Oh my god. Okay it's happening. Everybody stay calm. Me bonding with the one internet friend that I never met, but they totally understand me. When you're playing a game and your grandpa comes by and wants to relate to you, so are you winning? Me trying my best to sing, mom, dad, me after going through a breakup, me, those were the best years of my life, my best friend, the best years of your life so far. I finally get a girlfriend. She isn't toxic. She supports me and likes me for being me. My mom learning and informing herself on ADHD after my diagnosis so she can understand me better. My dad making pancakes on a Saturday morning. Little me. Me staying up late. My parents. My hamster. Me. Depressed and alone. Oh. I wasn't expecting you. My friend who randomly decided to drop by. That's not a problem I hope. My dad doing his own electrical wiring. 8 year old me thinking he is a wizard. My dad still doing his own electrical wiring. 32 year old me still thinking he is a wizard. Dad. Watch me repair this. You will be glad you know how to do this one day. Me. Okay but it's unlikely. I'll ever use it. Me. Several years later. When I do the repair for the first time. When you discover you can now play your favorite Gamma Boy game on your phone. Hello old friend. To my wife, after returning from a day at the beach with the kids, 
Behold. A shells. My mom blowing on my injured knee. Seven year old me who fell in the gravel of the playground. Me depressed on a cold night. My brain. Create a story in my fantasy world. Me when I find someone who genuinely likes to be around me. I gotta tell you this is pretty terrific. My older brother. Being an all around amazing guy. Me. His biggest fan. Aspiring to be as great as he is. First day in new school. That one kid with friendly nature. 